India's finest Medicover Hospital now opened exclusive hospital for women and children opposite Hitex Charmina Medicover Women and Child Hospital to provide higher subsidy as it has been keeping the power tariff for the domestic and other categories of consumer stagnant for several years in a row sir every year the aggregate revenue requirement ARRs of the discoms are filled with TS electricity regulatory commission for fixing the power tariff for the different categories of consumers sir the shortfall in the receipt of the discom has to be provided as subsidy by the government when the tariffs are kept static despite the increase in the cost of generation transmission and distribution of power sir it is simple economics but compulsion political compulsions force the parties in power to keep the different section of people in good humor sir sir now the congress has promised 200 unit of free electricity to all household in the state under Gruha Jyoti guarantee. I had sought clarity on this guarantee and the prospective beneficiaries under this scheme when I spoke in the debate of the governor's address, but there was no response from the government side, sir. I hope at least I will get a response or a reply now. So the discom have to file the ARR document for the next financial year, that is 24-25, with a TSERC in the next few weeks, sir. Next few weeks, sir. I would like to know, sir. I would like to know whether the government has worked out the estimates on the financial implications of, of Gruha Jyoti scheme. So, according to official data, sir, there are one seventy-four point zero three lakh power consumers in the state in March twenty twenty-three, and this includes one twenty-five point five six lakhs domestic consumer consumers, accounting to seventy-two point one five. Of the total consumers, sir. However, the white paper cites the figure of total consumers to be 1.82 crores on 1st of December 2023, sir. Even going by the data for March 2023, the total requirement for subsidy to be paid to Discom for providing free power up to 200 units per month to all domestic consumers works out works out to rupees. Four thousand eight hundred per annum, as per my calculation. If I am wrong, I may be corrected when the honourable minister is going to give a reply, sir. Sir, I would like to know the time frame when the government is going to implement the Gruha Jyoti guarantee, and whether it will provide the subsidy to Discom in lieu of this scheme, or allow them to seek a tariff hike or other categories of for other categories of consumers bearing the domestic and the agricultural, sir. Sir, the data. Analysis furnished in the white paper shows that the Discom Genco have to pay the arrears of true up charges of rupees twelve thousand five hundred and fifty crore, fuel cost adjustment of rupees two thousand three hundred and seventy eight crore, due of SCCL for power purchase of rupees nineteen thousand four hundred thirty one crores, and due towards coal coal purchase of rupees four thousand five hundred and fifty three crores, totaling to rupees. Thirty-eight thousand nine one two crores, sir. So on the honourable speaker, sir, on the other hand, the discom have to collect dues amounting to twenty-eight thousand eight hundred and forty-two point seven two crores from the various government departments and rupees eighteen thousand seven twenty-five crores from the government towards the difference in estimate of agricultural supply totaling to rupees forty-seven thousand five sixty-seven point seven two crores, sir. Sir, I would like to know whether the measures being taken up to clear the dues by the Discom and the and to fa fa facilitate the collection of dues from others by Discom. Honourable Speaker, sir, I would suggest that while making the budgetary releases to the various departments for establishment charges or or scheme charges, the government should issue the budget release order. Directly to the discom towards the estimated power charges of the various departments, sir. This will not pile up the dues, sir. Sir, add to the white white paper power situation. The white paper says that accumulated losses of discom on 31st March 23 were 62,461 crores, and these increased to rupees 81,516 crores as on 31st October 2023. but no details have been furnished i request the honorable minister 
when he's going to give a reply to kindly furnish these details also, sir. Sir, again, no details have been furnished on the dues of 28,673 crores to be paid to T.S. Genco and T.S. Transco by Discom, sir. I hope these details will also be spoken about the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and Power Minister when he, he replies to reply, sir. While referring to the finances of power utility, Genco, Transco and Discom, the white paper has omitted certain important issues, sir. And these issues are very important, sir. The Rural Electrification Corporation, REC, and Power Finance Corporation, PFC, has stopped disbursement of loans to Telangana Power Utility from April 2022, insisting for execution of tri-party agreement with the government of India and government of Telangana and RBI. This, on this major issue, the white paper is silent. I again hope that I would get a reply on this also, sir. So the power utilities have expressed inability to agree to this additional condition and it was not part of the original section of loan for capital expenditure on the new power projects. Sir. So co consequent to the stoppage of release of sanctioned loans to Telangana Power Utility, there has been delay in completion of power projects such as 4,000 megawatt Yadadri power project leading to cost escalation of gener generation loss. Sir. Similarly, there is no mention in the white paper on Telangana state row with the Andhra Pradesh on issues relating to the power sector. This has not been mentioned in the white paper, sir. I do not know the reason, sir. So the TS Discom, the TS Discom have to pay rupees 3,442 crores to AP Genco towards the power supplied from June 2, 2014 to June 10, 2017. The white paper is silent on this. I would like a reply on this as well, sir. So on the other hand, due to non-supply of additional power by, by Andhra Pradesh, sir, the TS Discom had purchased high cost power from the open market up to June 2017, amounting to rupees 4,215 crore, sir. So the outstanding loan of Anantapur, of Anantapur and Karnul power projects in AP is rupees 1,824 Point two six crores as on June 2nd, 2014. And TSSP DCL is serving the debt of these projects in AP, including the loans taken for PFC and REC. If I am wrong, I may be corrected, but I am really surprised. Why is the white paper silent on this important issue? Sir, even though the employees were bifurcated between AP Genco and TS Genco after the bifurcation of United Andhra Pradesh and formation of Telangana state, the AP Genco has not transferred the TS share of the trust fund, trust fund of the employees pension, graduate and GPF to the TS Genco. The white paper is silent on this too. Sir, as per the unilateral demerger proposal prepared by AP Genco, excess loans were allocated to TS Genco. This excess loan liability is been discharged by T.S. Genco. This has also not been mentioned in the white paper, sir. Sir, there are several interstate issues between the power utilities of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, including the appropriate thing, uh, uh, appropriation of share of 41.68% as per AP Reorganization Act and Sheila Binde Expert Committee reports, sir. So the state, the Telangana state had re represented several times to the Union Minister of Power and Home in the last nine years that an amount of that an amount of 12,940 is due from the Andhra Pradesh power utility but there has been no response. So on this also the white paper is silent. I was expecting these things to be mentioned in the white paper. Sir. We can as well pass a resolution and we can send it to the government of India and also make a request to the Andhra Pradesh to release this 12,940 crores, which is due towards the state of Telangana, sir. On the other hand, the Ministry of Power has issued directions to the Telangana government. It is so surprising. On the other hand, the Ministry of Power has issued directions to Telangana government 
for payment of power dues marini videos kosam channel ni subscribe cheyandi latest updates kosam whatsapp channel ni follow cheyandi and link description lo undi